my name's Natalia and <laughs> I'm sorry about the party in the back. I, ju I just cannot get them to turn the music down because they're too pumped for the party and possibly drunk. Even though it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. But I'm still going to make it here because I really don't have anywhere else to do it. Anyways, today I'm going to show you how to create a honeycomb flower card or a birthday card. It's really up to you what kind of card you want to make with this honeycomb so it looks like this when you open it and I don't know if you can see but this is actually three colors in one so the darker then lighter and then darker again so it's like an ombre honeycomb or you can create this honeycomb here with some banners here on the top that says happy birthday as you can see these two are completely different in terms of how dense they are this pink one here is a little bit less dense than this one here and what I mean by that is I created this honeycomb by using this template here. I don't know if you can see, but there are a lot more lines to follow when you're gluing the honeycomb together than there are with the other one that I created. But these honeycomb cards are beautiful and a great way to create a very unique card that nobody has ever seen. And if you don't want to create the honeycomb from scratch, you can just buy the honeycomb thing, tape it in the card, and then you're good to go. So if you want to see some of these kind of DIYs in the future, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you want to see how this is made, stick around and let's just get started. Start out by making a rectangle that's 10 cm on one side and 12 cm on the other side. And then cut it out. And this will be your stencil for your honeycomb. Then take your tissue paper and instead of opening it up totally, keep it closed because then you don't have to sketch around the stencil a million times. So keep it as close as possible and if you can, cut the tissue paper in these kinds of sections. Then place your stencil in one of these sections and then fold the tissue paper in half. Then take your scissor and then cut all of the folds. And you might need to cut more than once. And then you have created all of these layers for the honeycomb. And then you basically just repeat the same process over and over and over again until you have about 60 or 70 layers. You can also cut out a lot of different shades of the same color, like I have. Now if you want to create the ombre flower, you need to take your darker colors and divide that by two. And these numbers here are what I use to create the ombre flower. Now take another piece of paper and then either put your stencil on it and then sketch around it, or make another rectangle in the same exact measurements. Now we need to create some lines in different colors with equal amount of space between them. Now if you want your honeycomb to be really dense, you need to create a lot of lines with only 1.5 cm between them. Or you can just create one with only 2 cm between the lines. It's really up to you. Now choose how dense you want your honeycomb to be and then make some lines at every other mark in one color and then call these lines A. Repeat the same thing on the other marks with another color and then call these lines B. Now place a layer of tissue paper on this figure and then take a glue stick and only glue on the A lines. It might be a little difficult at first, but you can do it. Just make sure to only glue on the A lines. Place another layer of tissue paper on top and then press down to make it stick. Then take a glue stick and only glue on the B lines. Place another layer on top and then glue on the A lines. And this is actually the process you need to continue for 60 or 70 times. When you've used half of the darker colors, you need to switch over to the lighter shade. Now put some glue on the lines you've reached to, either A or B, and then put a layer of lighter shade onto it. Then continue this process until you've reached the end of this half of the medium shade. When you've reached the end of this half, attach the lightest shade. Then continue this gluing process once again until you reach the end of the lightest shade. 
At some point you need to peel all of the layers off your paper so it doesn't get stuck to it. When you've done with all the lightest layers, you need to reverse the colors so you go from medium and then to dark. And then you'll be done with all the layers! Now you only need to peel off the honeycomb and then leave it to dry on something elevated like a bowl. Then take your compass and then measure out 5 cm on your ruler and then make a circle. If you don't have a compass, you can take a little paper clip and then open it up. Then place it on your paper and then take something like a scissor to hold one of the tips and then take your pencil and then use that to make a circle with the other tip. Or you can just use a bowl if you don't have any of them. Cut your circle out and then place it on some construction paper and then sketch around it. And then cut that circle out once again. Fold this circle in half and then cut along the fold. And this is for the ends of the honeycomb. Now take the same circle you used to make the ends, then fold it in half and place it on your honeycomb. Now sketch around it and then cut it out. Now to separate the layers, gently open the honeycomb. Now take these half circles here, put some glue on them and then glue them onto the honeycomb. And then press down to make them stick properly. And repeat the same thing on the other side. Now if you want, you can sketch some leaves, cut them out and then attach them on the back of this honeycomb. The only thing left to do is to glue the honeycomb onto the base card. So put some glue all over the back of this honeycomb, then place it right at the fold on the middle of this card, then fold the card over it and press down to make it stick properly. Then open the card and repeat the same thing on the other side. Leave it to dry completely and that's it! Your honeycomb card is completely done! Now you decide whether you want your honeycomb to be a flower or a party balloon. They are beautiful no matter what. I hope you enjoyed watching and if you did, give this video a like, it helps me out a lot. And let me know down below if you're going to make this honeycomb card. And uh, if you want to see the upcoming videos in this channel, you need to subscribe and be a part of our lovely DIY family here at the Blue Toolbox. So subscribe and I'll see you soon with more ideas. Bye!